Welcome to my crazy psychic life. And today I'm going to be talking about um, something that I've noticed with clients and with myself uh, recently, which has to do with negativity, negative forces, um, things coming at me, and how to, you know, I guess you could say, get out of the situation. Um, so first I want to say, you know, the a lot, I've had a lot of clients Recently, the more that people are waking up, they're becoming aware of their intuitive gifts that they can manipulate. So we have people um, in the very high spectrum and the very low. But I am getting people that um, have a lot of confusion and they're lost. And so they are susceptible to lower forces messing with them, um, uh, feeding off of them and things of that nature. And so... Right now, people are very worried about, is the world coming to an end? All this stuff is happening. Um, and really, it's like all this stuff has been happening all along. We're just more aware of what's happening in other countries, what's happening in our own country. Okay. Um, one thing that I notice the people that they're that are that come to me that they're working i work with people all different types of backgrounds nationalities whatever what have you okay other all types of belief systems is that if they're working where they're they're messing with lower forces only or they're in the high and low so we see this when people are doing you know sometimes sometimes it's witchcraft where they're doing spells spell work for people that would be more of manipulating others, controlling others, or lower stuff to hurt people. Then we see where they want, they're helping people, using it to lift them up, make the world better. But what we get is, if you're in both of these areas where you are, let's say you're, you're, doing, you're doing readings and spell work for people. When you stay in these types of places, okay, you're in the high and low, you never quite get ahead because the because the higher energy lifts you up, the lower energy tears you down. And what I've gotten from working with people that are a mix of this is that they always stay in the energy of struggle. They're never they never quite get what they want. They're close but no cigar, okay? You never quite get what you want. And that they give their power away to other people, beings, deities, whatever, what have you. And I've noticed that for me now, okay, besides a lot of people coming to me, they have lower forces connected to them. I try to help them, clear them, whatever the case may be, because it's not helping them in their life. Nothing's getting better. People are just staying miserable, okay? It doesn't help them to um, all of a sudden have a better life. <laughs> um, what I've noticed for me is that the more that I ascend and I move up the spiritual ladders, okay, I become more and more sensitive to who's around me, you know, environments, who I could trust, okay? Um, I've noticed specific negative beings coming at me, trying to be by me or attack me. And um, I feel like this has happened for a lot of people, I guess the term light worker. A lot of people are going through this right now, okay? And the more that we try to fight against it, clear it whatever you know if you guys remember my story about the movie theaters and how I'll go to the movie theaters and there's all this garbage from people and these lower beings feeding off of stuff um I go in there I bless it cleanse it and then I decided to like okay I'll just ask God to just be in the theaters and just leave it up to God so this happened to me uh, several times that oh, I went into the movie theater and I saw my angels around me, okay? And this high, lower being, he was hanging out in there watching me the whole time. So my angels are right here and the lower forces are there. I saw it in the movie theater. And this happened to me a couple times. Stuff was touching me, being around me in the, in the damn movie theater, okay? 
And it really started to bother me to where, okay, well, I'll just clean the theater harder. I'll just really do all these techniques to make sure it's uh, fresh when I get there, okay? But what I finally realized is the more that I'm fighting against it, the stronger this war or whatever becomes. And when I just become more neutral and I'm like, okay, I didn't come here to fight all the battles. I came here to enjoy human life, okay? And what I realized is that I just take care of myself. I focus on protecting me. I bless all the people that are around me and I leave it up to God and the angels. And what I noticed is when I do that and I step away from that spiritual warfare stuff, everything calms down, okay? And I realize also, you know, outside of, I'll just tell you guys, outside of the movie theater, some uh, circus thing that focuses on horror and all that is now outside of the movie theater. So I feel like that purposely manifested because I was so focused on clearing out that theater and bringing in light. So the negativity came in and it, that showed me right there, okay, Laura, you need to stop and reevaluate what you're doing because you're attracting this negative stuff to you by trying to f force this place to be in a better uh, a level. And then I heard um, God and the angels say, okay, Laura, you need to stop. Stop trying to clear this place. Stop because there's a, always an influx of people, okay? So there's always people with different types of vibrations at their at there and I was like it's starting to blow up into a big problem where I can't go and just enjoy myself because I'm sensing too much and um, it took a period of time but I did start to just okay I'm just focusing on me my energy my environment and then it quieted down okay so for any of the light workers out there that you guys got to go and clear everything all the time, you could end up getting in some type of battle with lower forces. And what happens is it, it's never ending. It never goes away. So you have to rise above that and be in a higher vibe and be like, okay, if I tune into this negativity and this stuff and I keep focusing on it, I'm allowing it into my life. I'm allowing it to disrupt my life and my peace, okay? So I focus on what I do want in the theater. I focus on me just being peaceful, enjoying it. It's a story and I'm just having fun. I'm not tuning into it, okay? So I know when I talked about the movie theaters before, um, I don't think I gave you guys some tips on what to do, but, but I did say that I would clear the area and that. And um, let's see what else did I want to talk about it. So for me, another sign that happened is um, so I so this is kind of a build up to my epiphany is I started getting clients that were connected to dark forces. And then I started like in my where I would go. My favorite place was full of dark energy and beings. And then I had some lower forces, uh, like groups of people be, uh, you know, like I became aware of these people. And I was like, okay, these people are around me. And um, it just, you know, okay, this, so this might sound scary to you guys, but it confirmed to me that I'm on the right path and that I need to keep following the light of source. So if all this stuff is trying to bring me down, trying to make me aware, trying to get me to convert or whatever, it means I'm in the right, I'm in the right place. So if this is happening for you guys, cause I know I have some really psychic people that watch this where they got, they can departed people, lower forces, angels, whatever you got around you. If stuff keeps coming at you, you need to turn right to the source, okay? Because I realized it actually made me happy. Like, okay, you know what? If I if things are really trying to get in my face now and trying to get me to convert or go on the dark side of the forest or whatever, um, 
I know I'm in the right space because, but I'm going to stop trying to clear and fight everything because stuff just keeps, it just comes back. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to stay in the light. I'm going to rise above the duality of the fighting. Okay. I'm just going to be in the light, be in God's light. Okay. So I'm specifically sharing this for people that you may experience this because the energy is getting very heavy because we're seeing all the corruption and everything. The internet is really bringing stuff out to the light, okay? And the people that are with the dark forces, they're not hiding anymore. They don't care. So why should I care? You know what I mean? I'm sharing, I'm staying in the light. And if you guys don't know anything about me, I when my abilities woke up, I connected. I. I went through to where I didn't trust the church. So I connected with people that were connected to dark stuff. And what happened to me is uh, one of the guys that I connected with. So this is a story, okay? True story. I connected with this guy and he told me how lower forces had helped him to feel more powerful, to get what he wanted out of life. And then, so I became friends with him. He showed me things, told me about his life, okay? And what I discovered is over a period of time, he was miserable, he had depression, he had all these different things going on. So he wasn't really helped. He just made to feel powerful about certain things in his life. And so that brings me back to when you're connected with that type of stuff, it's like a price tag is on the end of it and he never got out of struggle. He stayed in the energy of just sorrow, depression. And those lower forces love that. You know, I was shown in a dream that they feed off of this stuff. So they'll want to make people confused um, in like, you know, like things that are not normal to their nature or weird stuff, or they're just fascinating. They try to suck you in, make you confused so you don't work on yourself. You don't make your life better. You're just looking for shortcuts. Or like, you know what? I get everything. I can enjoy whatever I want, but really it's a lie. And so I have so many people that they have dabbled in this dark stuff and now they want out, you know? Or they're so lost in it and they're miserable and they're sad and they're depressive and these forces are just feeding off of them like they're a tasty treat. Okay? Because I've seen it with my own eyes. So, um, giving their power away to these beings. Never quite getting what you want. It's close, but no cigar, you know. Staying in the energy of struggling. Okay? And so if someone is watching this where you are caught up in that and you think, okay, it makes me feel superior or powerful, look at the other stuff in your life. Is everything going good? Is your relationships going good? Are you not seeing the truth? Okay. That's what, that's what I want you to look at. Okay. Because I've been there. I've had stuff bother me. I've, I've had things where I went to the dark side of the force and I learned that it, nobody was happy. People were miserable. There was just drama and chaos. Would you want to be connected to something like that? Okay. So what ended up happening for me is that's when the angels came in and I was like, okay, well, you know what? Um, I think I know the clear path that I'm going to go on. So that, so you didn't know that about me. Um, people can feel really lost and looking for the easy way out, the easy answers is not always the best way. And if you, if you look at your life and you're like, okay, I'm just going in a pattern. My life isn't getting any better. Are you listening to your intuitive guidance and following through? Or are you stuck in lower energy, lower vibe, looking for the shortcuts? Okay. Um, I think I answered everything <laughs> that I wanted to talk about today. And, um, I just want you guys to know that, um, if you're going through a situation like me, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you have to stay in the energy of faith and not let this dark stuff crush your soul. Okay. Because if you just 
focus on the light and you're with God and the angels and you're just surrendering to them. Okay, they got my back, my protection and safety. Um, you know, you'll be in a better place. And with that, take care of everybody.